Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Uh, in this tutorial I will be showing how I store my investigator specific card, so let's get started. So I like to keep my investigator specific cards separate from my player cards and I decided to uh, get a specific binder for them. This is a binder with uh, card slots, so it, I think this is uh, for magic players to store some uh, rare cards they want to uh, display and have a complete set of four cards showing for trading or something like that, but I thought that this is a good size to hold investigator cards. So how I divided this is uh, uh, yeah, through class, so guardian first, then mystic, then rogue, uh, seeker and finally the survivors. Of course Lola has his <laughs> her own page for neutral investigators, hoping to get some more later. I actually could put uh, uh, Circle Undone neutrals here also, but they are with the scenario cards, as you only use it in one scenario. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, room to expand. So here are also the Arkham investigators. Uh, I decided to put the Parkham uh, specific cards also, uh, player cards also here, so they are not mixed up with the Arkham cards. I still need to figure out how to store the starter deck investigator cards and uh, where I should put the Parkham horror uh, booklet, but maybe that is another uh, binder altogether. I, I really don't uh, see any, any big use uh, out of these, but I still haven't figured out where to store them, because I'm, I won't uh, throw them away. I've also uh, added these like in the order of the expansion, so Core Box, Dunwich and Carcosa and so on. And of course if the investigator has the novella out, I have placed the novella version next to the original version. Uh, here I have the Dexter Drake uh, in a bit of a different order because uh, this came out first, then uh, novella came out first and after that the InSmart version. So they are uh, reversed and so on. Well, um, this is uh, just uh, to show how you could hold these cards, and I'll still show that I have the investigator card, the signature card, and also the signature weakness all together, so you don't have to search for them separately. But that is basically it, nothing fancy. Uh, these are not uh, cheap, uh, you could find cheaper ones, but uh, I think there are uh, three ring binder pages with uh, only four slots, but you could have a bigger binder and they are not that expensive. Uh, you can get them for a few euros for the binder and the pages are practically uh, sold in stock, like big, big uh, stock, so you could get uh, a binder for your investigators made quite cheap. I uh, decided to go fancy and get the ultimate guard mini binder, with, uh, which I can store neatly, standing upright into my uh, shelf. But yeah, this is uh, <laughs> a short tutorial, nothing special, so hope you guys found this interesting and helpful, and always thanks for watching, and until next time.